Hey, this is Phil White from the University of Wyoming Libraries. I'm going to do a very, very quick introduction to Euromonitor Passport. Euromonitor is an international marketing firm based in London. They do uh, lots of really interesting um, uh, research on countries and economies and industries. Uh, the way to access it is if you start on the library homepage, click on the databases link and you can access it under the business group or you can just go to E for Euromonitor and you will find it down here at the bottom of the E page uh, Euromonitor Passport so when you get to the Euromonitor homepage uh, you get an area where you can search for statistics, you can search for analysis dashboards is more of a uh, visualization tool uh, my recommendation is to search um, for analysis first and then you can kind of back into the statistics section after that. Um, for this example I'm going to do Uganda. We're going to look at economies and consumers. I'm going to click that and wait for that to load. And it gives you some topics. Um, you can search for different topics like industry and infrastructure, um, consumer trends. I'm just going to do business environments. This is where you get some, some basic, really good basic uh, market reports for specific countries. So I'm going to click on business environment under geography. I'm going to go in here and choose under Africa, Uganda. Then I'm going to click go. So here on the results page, uh, you get several different articles. Uh, what I recommend are these country profiles. Some of these are uh, robust research reports. Other than others, like this one, is kind of a shorter article. Uh, this one is some sort of infographic, etc. I would recommend looking through these, uh, looking through the results list. Uh, but I'm going to click through to the country profile of Uganda. And on this page, uh, you have a little uh, table of contents over here, but um, you have some key points here where the authors are discussing the current economy, GDP, um, major industries, etc. Get some basic facts about the country and their, their government structure. Uh, if you scroll down, though, you start to get into the meats and potatoes. This is where you'll find some information about the economic structure and major industries within this country. So it'd be a good place to look if you're if you're um, learning about um, who makes what in the country and um, where certain growth areas might be. Uh, there's an overview. Uh, there are prospects, uh, market potential. Um, there are some tables in here. Uh, basically, some uh, major indicators. Uh, such as ease of doing business, uh, starting a business, etc. Uh, take a look through that. Um, here's a section on industry. Uh, you get lots of data about uh, foreign investment and their currency, things like that. Um, imports, exports, etc. Um, one thing to remember on this page is if you're ever on a report, there's always a link to view statistics. So if you want to look at these stats that we were taking a look at further down the page and man manipulate them you can go to view statistics and you'll get an idea of uh, different industries and uh, what the size of that industry is I'm just going to go back uh, back on the country profile page you can also look at uh, related articles and industries if you wanted to do that um, but this is a good starting place for doing country research um, as far as economics and business goes I uh, highly recommend it and if you have any questions about using Euromonitor uh, let me know it won't answer all of your questions um, but it can get you started so that's it for now but again if you need any help feel free to contact me at p under pwhite9 at uio.edu. See you later.